In language learning, there's one huge pervasive myth that will cause you to waste an incredible amount of time, energy, and money. It's the reason why your progress is so slow, why you can never understand what people are saying, and why you're having so much trouble remembering words. It's the reason why you get frustrated, lose motivation, and perhaps give up. And the thing is, it's not something trivial, like using one app that's not as good as another app, or using a certain technique instead of using another technique. Instead, it involves a flawed way of looking at language learning, a flawed paradigm. So what is it? Let me explain it this way. The Pashatantra is a collection of ancient Indian fables. In it, there's a story about five friends, four of them who are extremely well-educated and cultured, and one who has absolutely no education with only his real-life experience to draw from. The five of them live in the country, but one day they decide to go to the city to seek their fortune and hopefully become rich. They arrived in the city and came to an intersection of the road and didn't know which path to follow. It turns out the son of a merchant in the city had died, and at that very moment, a huge funeral procession that included several prominent citizens of the town passed by. The educated friends consulted their holy scriptures and read aloud. Whichever road is followed by great men is the one to follow. So they said, let us go the same way as these people. Following the road taken by the prominent citizens, the group reached the cremation ground and saw a donkey standing there. The educated friends opened their holy scriptures yet again and read, whosoever stands by you all on all occasions, whether joyous or sad, is your true friend. So they concluded that the donkey was their true friend. Then the owner of the donkey showed up and saw the four educated friends hugging his donkey. So he chased the friends away in the direction of the river. After they had escaped the donkey owner, the four educated friends saw a leaf of the holy tree floating in the river. One of them said, this holy leaf will take us across the river. So they all jumped on the holy leaf and started to drown. Now, this whole time, the one friend who only had real life experience was still standing at the intersection of the road. He looked in the direction opposite to which his four educated friends had taken, and he saw a huge market. So. He went to the market, started bartering and selling some items, and eventually became a merchant. And after a period of time, he made his fortune. The moral of the story is that academic knowledge can become a curse. Over-intellectualizing things can waste your time and lead you down a path that takes you further and further away from your goals. How does that relate to language learning? The vast majority of language learners learn from things like apps or they learn in a classroom setting. Those things involve memorizing words, doing grammar exercises, learning grammar rules and principles, and doing exercises like fill in the blanks, picture matching, and multiple choice. That's all really useful in the sense that they take you from zero to one. Or in other words, they take you from knowing absolutely nothing about the given language to knowing something. The problem is when you learn like that, what you're doing is learning about the language from a theoretical perspective, not actually learning the language. The point of language is to communicate with others and communication is something that's not theoretical. It goes far beyond words. Things like body language and intonation are just as important as the words themselves, sometimes even more. 
And in any given language, words themselves very often have several different meanings depending on the context in which they're used. So just because you learned or you memorize a word doesn't mean you necessarily know how to use that word correctly in a conversation. The point is this, communicating with others is about conveying meaning in a context. And it's the context that gives words their meaning. And the thing is, meaning is something that's dynamic and often not logical at all. It's often something you just kind of feel or comprehend instinctively without any logic or conscious reasoning involved. That being the case, a lot of what you learn by using apps or taking classes has limited practical application in the real world. Learning like that makes you feel like you're getting somewhere, when in reality, you're getting further and further away from your goals. And that's really what the single biggest language learning myth is. It's treating language as a theoretical subject you study, when in reality, it's a practical skill you acquire. The first person who put this theory forward was Stephen Krashen. He called it the theory of language acquisition, which you probably heard about before. I'll leave a link with more information in the description of this video if you want to go more in depth on it. But his core message is that it's much more effective to acquire a language as a practical skill rather than study it. Acquiring it essentially means learning it naturally by immersing yourself in the language as it's naturally used in the real world. It's pretty similar to how you learn your native language. In your native language, I'd be willing to bet you're not really aware of grammar rules, tenses, conjugations, and so on. You just kind of know what sounds right and what doesn't. The example I always use to illustrate this point is learning to ride a bike. When you learn to ride a bike, you probably didn't start by sitting down and studying all the technical and mechanical aspects of riding a bike. Instead, you simply got on the bike and tried to ride it. You obviously weren't that good at first, but through lots of trial and error, you finally got a good hang of it, to the point where now you can ride a bike easily without even thinking about it. Imagine you had started by learning each individual mechanical and physical aspect of riding a bike. Imagine dedicating a ton of time to studying and memorizing the theoretical principles relevant to riding a bike. It would have made things a lot more complicated, boring, and frustrating. And worst of all, it wouldn't have helped you at all with learning to ride a bike. It would have only wasted your time. Learning languages is exactly the same. The bottom line is this. The more practical you make it, the more you make it about engaging with the real world, with real people, the better off you are, the faster and the more effectively you'll learn. It's all about immersing yourself with the language as it's naturally used in the real world and acquiring it as a skill. And when you do that, everything changes. But how exactly do you do that? Can you still do that even if you're not living in a country where your target language is spoken? If you click the link in the description of this video, you'll be taken to our website where you'll find a video masterclass that goes more in depth on this learning approach. It shows you how to apply everything you just learned, as well as the biggest mistakes you must absolutely avoid when learning a new language and you can watch it for free. Anyways, that's all for today. If you like this video, then check out this other one where we go in depth on the number one secret to learning a language. And truth be told, it's probably not what you think. And with that said, see you next time.